Um, so I'm going to show you a basic makeup application. This is um, my lovely sister here and I will show you how to do makeup for darker skin tones. So I've already cleansed the skin um, just using daily facial wipe cleansing towels. Um, any brand is fine. I moisturize her skin with Ambi, even and clear. I prep and prime the skin with MAC Prep and Prime. I've already exfoliated this, uh, her lips using Smashbox Exfoliator. And I moisturized her lips using CarMax. I'm um, using a damp foundation brush, and this is Becca Foundation Brush in 1B. I have my Bobbi Brown uh, Universal Palette here. has all the colors, all the foundations, colors here. And on the other side, all the correctors and concealers. Okay, so I'm going to use um, Warm Walnut on Tamika. So I'm just going to lightly apply this all over the face. And with darker skin tones, you don't want to use one color all over the face. And I'll talk about highlighting and contouring in a sec. So just to show you the difference, I'm just going to do one side of the face. Okay, using a MAC 224 brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Bobbi Brown um, Corrector in Deep Bisque, or maybe very deep, I don't even know, see I should have tried this. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in, okay? and. Concealer I'm going to use is Bobbi Brown Almond. What you want to do is go a shade or two lighter than the skin tone, so that way you don't have just you know you don't have one muddy look there because in black skin and actually in a lot of um, skin tones it's not all one color. Our face has a a multitude of colors. Just put a little around the nose. Any areas that need a little extra coverage here. Corners of the mouth. Pop it right on the brow bone. And just sweep whatever is left over onto the lid of the eye. So I have a nice base to start off with. Okay, now for the contour just to make her cheekbones pop out a little and just add some more dimension to the face. I'm gonna go two shades darker um, using the Bobbi Brown palette and I'm gonna take Chestnut and just run that right along, right under her cheekbone area. And right here along her hairline will add dimension to the face. Photographs you tend to lose um, 
the bone structure, you kind of get like a flat look. So this here will help create the contours and planes in the face. With that same brush I'm just going to blend. I want to make sure you blend really well. You don't want to see one dark line right there on the cheekbone. I want to make sure that you blend that in really good. Along her hairline. And this will get, help give her a pretty bronze look. Using a MAC 194 brush. And these are just the brushes I'm using. You can use any brush of choice. This one is just small enough and easy to work with. Okay, so what I'm doing is contouring her nose. Using that same contour color that I used on her cheeks and around her hairline. And I'm just going to take a clean 224 brush and just blend that in. using my same palette I'm going to go ahead and, and highlight the areas of the face. This is the areas that I want to pop and stand out. So I'm going to take golden and I'm just going to run that down the bridge of her nose. blend that in. Take that same color and just blend that right there on her chin. And just run a little bit of that on her cheekbone and under the eye area. Okay, using using Max Prep and Prime, I'm just gonna go ahead. Prep and Prime powder, translucent powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and powder under the eye area because I see that it's starting to crease a little. I'm just gonna sweep a little bit of that onto the lid. You don't want to overdo it with the powder because you don't want to give a nasty chalky look. You still want some life to the face. Okay. On her lid I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Quite Natural. This will help the eyeshadow to last longer and prevent creasing. This is an important step, especially if you have um, oily eyelids. Okay, using that same brush, I have MAC Wood Wings Eyeshadow, and I'm just going to pop that right in the inner portion of the eye. The 224 brush, I'm going to take a dark brown, name is Embark, also by MAC, and put that on the outer portion of the eye and into the crease. Well, really dark colors. I might start off with the eye first. So that way I don't have to go back and clean 
clean up under the eye and end up wiping off all the concealer and all the foundation that I already put on the face. Just gonna blend those colors together. And using Sketch with like a dark, plummy kind of burgundy color. I'm just gonna put that over the brown just to warm that up a little bit. Okay, using the same color that I used on the inner portion of the eye, I'm just gonna pop that right on the brow bone. Just as, in high, as a highlight. with the clean 224 brush just blend. Okay, using a uh, Max Fluid Line in black track, I'm just taking a small thin brush that I got from the um, from the craft store, Michaels. And I'm just going to run that very thinly along her lash line. And just take your time with this. Liner can be tricky. I'm just taking a pencil and a coffee by MAC and I'm just going to run that under the eye just to give it a little definition without overdoing it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in her brows. Um, she has pretty full brows, but it's just a little sparse over here in this area. So we'll just fill that in using a brown color. And you wanna make sure that you don't have too much product on your brush. Better to go lighter and then go back in and fill in. And this is just another store that I brought from the craft store. Just a flat, small brush like that. And you might find that it's easier if you turn when you in this inner corner to turn your brush to the side. Just lengthening the ends just to make that stand out a little more. Okay, using Matisse Elite Brow Gel, I'm just gonna run that over her brows just to make sure that the hair is stay laying down. Using this is Maybelline Volume Express mascara. Mika's lashes are pretty curled, so not necessary to curl them. I just skip that step. Just gonna fill them in and make it a little darker. Okay, for blush, I'm just taking MAC Dolly Mix Blush and I'm going to pop that on the apple of her cheek smile. And for the darker girls out there, don't be afraid to use vibrant colors. They look very pretty on the skin. And just use a light hand. Remember, you can always go back and build 
on that color. Okay, using the MAC, what is this, 138 brush. This is a highlighter in a gold color. And I'm just gonna press that right on top of the cheekbone just to make this area stand out more. And using a 224 brush, I'm just gonna run that down the bridge of her nose. And just pop some in the corner of her eye. Okay, onto the lips and then we're all done. I'm gonna go and line her lips with um, MAC lip pencil and cork. I didn't wanna go too too dark because I want um, her lips to look a little fuller. And the dark colors tend to, to make the lips look smaller. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line her lips. Yeah. Okay, using a light brown color just to create a pretty glossy nude type of mouth. I'm just gonna sweep that over the lips. Okay. And there goes her finished look.